Hi friends, this is Gail, Fava of Four, and here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail soon. I thought I'd do a little video of a few things I made, and I had just done it, and you couldn't hear a word I said. We've had this bunny forever, and I guess now I have the bunny, <laughs> and I always put things in there for the kids to take because when, um, at the time when we were collecting um, Beanie Babies, I have tons of them. And then I put my wreath back up. I didn't think I would, but I didn't make another one for the summer, so I did. And I just set that there. That was actually, it does have a rabbit on it. And just today I decided to put this little tree out that I have. I don't know why. I, Easter, I feel like put decorating a little bit. <coughs> don't ask me why. So I want to show you a few things that I made. And I'm going to speak up because the other one you couldn't hear a thing I said. Okay. I made, I started to make this flower. And I got that far, well, with just this. Then I put, I made these leaf kind of things out of some material I had. Then I thought, well, that looks crooked, so I put some on this side. Well, then pretty soon I thought, unless I want to do the whole thing, and I don't have any of that kind of material, I better put it like this. And I put some, um, they're not doilies, but they're a part of that last bunch of stuff I bought and it was all along the bottom of the of the scarf the tail scarf and there's doilies and then I had a little bit of um, this lace material I used and cut it in fourths and stuck it in there I put this in the middle. Okay, so then we're down to this. And then I thought, okay, I'll put, um, needed something. There's like a little space there. So I put this in with this little, you know, doodads that we have everywhere. And then I thought, oh, I want to put a trim on it. So this trim. Uh, but you know this one is the one with the dangles and the other one I'm trying to remember where I ordered it from but I'm not good like you guys I don't remember that stuff but I did put this on with the beads so that's what that looks like but now it's too big for a flower so maybe I should make like an art cake out of it not quite as big but add some more things to it so it could be one big thing I don't know but I do like it it's pretty it's got big it's it's like roses uh, rose color peach color violet color just all kind of colors in it and then, I think I just sat on the other ones I made. Okay, I made this. I'm just holding the camera. Somebody had given me one of these little backs. And you've seen me with these flowers, and a lot of people have gotten them. I had a dress that I cut it off. And then this was at the drugstore, really cheap on a bobby pin. It says my battery's ready to go. I guess I should plug it in. So I took the bobby pin off. And then this came on something. And I took it off, put it on here, and then I put that bow on it. So, a little different. Let me plug this in. Choo -choo -choo. 
So, I was watching Trish, Little Shabby Chic, and I decided to make some bows, or flowers, rather. Okay. Then, there's this one. I used some brown and beige, and this is some ribbon I had left, and I just put it on and then cut it. It's like a, um, oh, I don't know what color. Uh, I don't know, but it goes with it. And I had found that little skirt a long time ago, shorts, real sh short shorts, that had this brown trim on it. And my sister cut it up for me, and I used it on there, and I think it looks pretty. I'm really liking the browns and the, like the teals with it. And then, here's a wedding sort of one, I guess you could call it. Um, doilies. A wedding applique with some scraps that I had and then that pretty flower and some of this um I had it as yarn with my yarn stuff way before I started doing this so I don't know what it's called but I put that on there then the piece de resistance I made was I had bought this spoon. Let's see if I can set it up here. Don't get dizzy. Bought this spoon a long time ago because it said lavender on it with the intentions of giving it to be lavender. But I hadn't done anything yet with it. So I guess today was the day. I never thought of um, decorating or altering a spoon until I did that one for my sister. When someone was having a contest, it just gave me an idea. So I had also found this a long time ago and I kept it. And I made a little charm thing out of it. I put a couple of little flowers just stuck this in it's like a little prima flower I think these are all flowers when I go to Goodwill or something they're the ones I told you I take outside rinse off and then just cut the flowers off of them well that's what I did and I had this one and I stuck that in there and these are the bows the DC scrap and rooster showed us how to make I put a little tool here with some stamen and I colored it purple with my fingers and some alcohol ink. I took that bunch of stuff, we have like this crystal and I cut two pieces off and I, I put it on. Um, I'm going to put a few more little flowers in here. And I happened to have a purple bird. I was going to send her in her package, but I put it on the spoon instead. I stuck a little piece of, of uh, applique in there. And then this bow... Um, Someone had sent me something, and there was this like lilac bow, and I had it stuck, just stuck it in my on my board, and I thought, oh, that'll be perfect. So I kind of used that, and then I put the bling on it. Well, I didn't kind of use it; I used it, so you can see. So then I put the. Uh, stuck the bird on there and I love these butterflies they're prima 
Um, sure, and I think I should be done. I don't think I should add anything else to it. Like I said, just a little charm thing with the bow, with the little flowers. And I think that's kind of plenty. But I really like it. And besides her name, she likes violet and lavender and all those types of colors. And look, I even have it on my little crocheted thing my sister found for me at a garage sale. She thought I could cut the flowers off, but I think, I, I guess I could, but I don't want it to unravel. So, ladies and gents, this is what I've been doing the last few days, other than trying to still get my um, room organized. And I have so many scraps, as you all know. And hopefully you saw, I think Loretta put, Cotton Barn put some pictures up. And my little tree. I like to sit out here. It's nice. Gets me out of the house. So I will wrap it up and hopefully she won't see the spoon, but you never know. It just won't be a surprise, that's all. <laughs> I keep telling her, uh, her birthday last year I was sending something and uh, as usual it wasn't something she was going to get on her birthday. So I call it her 2015-16 birthday and I did the same thing with Maggie you kind of do it in between I'm just not good at getting things out in the mail but this time I just got up this morning and just did this spoon so I think it turned out pretty well well I hope all of you can hear me that usually can't for some reason I feel like I have to be quieter out here I don't know why Probably because I don't want everyone hearing me um, because they think I'm talking to myself. I want to wish everybody a happy and safe Easter. Lots of good food. And I will see you all again soon, I hope, if I get myself cracking here. Bye.